Welcome to Aquaculture AMA. Let's get started. So here's a question from Anya. She asks, are tilapia good to eat for the second most consumed aquaculture fish on the planet? I get a lot of strange questions around tilapia. For example, are tilapia real fish? And why is tilapia bad for you? Even my own mother posted on social media that tilapia lacks skin and bones and can't be overcooked. I promise. Tilapia are a real fish that originated in Africa, have skin and bones, and from personal experience, can be overcooked. But I digress. So Anya, yes, tilapia are good to eat, especially when grown in clean, healthy water and fed highly nutritious food. You've heard the phrase, you are what you eat? In California, we harvest millions of pounds of quality tilapia. My recommendation is to know where your fish come from. Jennifer asks, what is a recirculating aquaculture system? I get this question a lot. Well, I usually follow up with my own question. Do you own a fish tank or an aquarium at home? Does your fish tank have any filtration? If the answer is yes, then you have a small recirculating aquaculture system designed with five components in mind. A tank or series of fish tanks connected to a pump to recirculate or move water, a way of removing solid waste, such as a filter pad or a drum screen, a method for nitrification, which is the bacteria Material conversion of very toxic ammonia to less toxic nitrate. And this could happen on bio balls, a moving bed bioreactor, sand filter, really anything that has a lot of surface area for bacteria to colonize upon. And lastly, a method for gas exchange, such as a bubbler for aeration or a waterfall. Jennifer, the goal of recirculating aquaculture systems are to reduce the amount of water required to raise healthy fish while maintaining excellent water quality to maximize fish growth. So I have six tanks at home, each with their own small recirculating aquaculture system. Do you keep fish at home? If so, leave me a note in the comments. So here's a question from Elena. Elena wants to know, what fish does caviar come from? Hi Elena. First thing we need to clarify, what is caviar? In the US, caviar, as defined by the USDA, is the salted, unfertilized eggs from sturgeon. If we're talking about any other type of caviar, you need to put the species name in front. Lumpfish caviar or whitefish caviar, for example. So the only native sturgeon produced by aquaculture in the United States is the white sturgeon. White sturgeon fish farming only occurs in Idaho and in California, with almost 90% of all North American caviar farmed within a one hour drive of UC Davis. If not purchased directly from the fish farms that produce the sturgeon, you will sometimes see it sold as Transmontanus or Alberta caviar. A number of other non-native sturgeon species are produced on fish farms in North Carolina and in Florida. If you're looking for a sturgeon caviar alternative, one of my favorite fish, the American paddlefish, is sustainably farmed, or dare I say ranched, in Ohio and in Missouri. If you want to learn more about how caviar is made, you're going to want to watch this next video. And if you want your aquaculture questions answered, leave me a note in the comments. For UC Davis Aquaculture, I'm Dr. Jackson Gross, and this is Aquaculture AMA.